Selling your photos on stock photography websites is great. However, there is a lot of competition and it is harder to make money nowadays than it is in the past. So one thing I like to tell people who are involved in stock photography, you know, if they want to take their business to the next level is to start their own website and just sell photos from your own website. And what I like about being in control, having your own website and selling your photos from your own website is that you can collect the emails of your customers and people who visit your website. And basically, whenever you have new photos, uh, you can notify your list of subscribers. You could also offer deals from time to time. You see, when you have an email list, you could just email them whenever you're in need of some cash flow. Now, what I recommend you do is if you are going to start your own website is to make your website focused on one niche. I know of somebody who made $4,000 in one month from his own site. Now, aside from just collecting emails from your customers, you could also uh, collect emails from people who just visit your website and to entice them to opt in, you can run a contest where if they enter their information, such as their email and their name, they'll be entered to win a photo or a print. Another great thing about building a list of subscribers is that you can build a relationship with your audience and that you're going to get repeat sales in the future. You see, when people buy your photos from stock photography websites, you don't collect their information. So it's not like you could tap their shoulder in the future and say, hey, would you like any of my other photos or my newest photos? This way, with your own website, you could just notify them, you know, like I said earlier, whenever you have uh, new photos or if you have a discount that you're offering. You should also sell prints of your photos from your own website to increase your revenues. Now, if you're scared to start your own website, uh, there are several tools out there that make it very easy for you. And one tool that I highly recommend is called Shopify. One good feature of Shopify is that they will contact somebody who abandoned their shopping cart and they'll get reminded to purchase from you. And there's all types of themes a bit available for you to use from Shopify. Now, once you have your site up and running, you could use Facebook ads to drive traffic to your site. 